This video here is going to show you how to recreate figure one on the worksheet on the back of your packet. Now there is one dimension that I accidentally left out, so I'd like for you to go ahead and add that. And that is the dimension for this corner right here and for this corner right here. And that is going to be one and a half inches. So if we're looking at the shape, it's going to be one and a half inches wide by four inches long. After you've added that dimension, please go to your SketchUp. I'm opening 2014. You might have a slightly different version, but what I'm going to show you will work with e either version. If you see the screen, which you may or may not, if you do see it, go ahead and click on Choose Template and double check that you are going to be working in the plain view, nothing that has scenery, and that you're working in feet and inches. From here, go ahead and click on Start SketchUp. Please get in the habit when you first see um, the four quadrants here to go ahead and click on camera, standard view, and ISO. We are going to be creating an isometric drawing, which is a three-dimensional figure positioned in a way that you can see three out of the six sides located here. And if we're looking at our figure, what we're going to do is we're going to draw the base first or the bottom. Now we can't see the bottom, but we can kind of imagine what it looks like. So again, we would have this dimension here, which is one and a half, and this is four inches. So what I'm going to do is select on the shapes tool or the rectangle tool. I'm gonna to select the tool. I'm gonna to come here to the origin, and I'm going to go ahead and click once with my mouse and release. Move the mouse to the either left or right. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna release my hand off the mouse. I know you can't see it, but my hand is not on the mouse. All I'm going to do is I'm gonna tell Google what the dimensions of this shape are going to be. So in this case, it is one and a half by four inches. The way that I'm gonna type this, and please look to the bottom right hand corner where it says dimensions, I can either type it in by one space, one dash two inches, or I can do 1.5 inches. It is entirely up to you if you're used to either um, decimal or fractions. So we told it what the one side of the rectangle is gonna be. To tell it the other side, we're gonna do comma, space, four inches, and I'm going to hit enter. Now it's going to appear as though the rectangle has disappeared, but what I can do is I can very slowly zoom in to the origin and you will start to see your rectangle. So we were very zoomed out. The other thing you can do is click on zoom extends and it will snap to whatever you have on your screen. So what I wanna do is I kinda want to position the rectangle to somewhat look like it's in the position that I see here on the screen. This is gonna help you visually. So we made our one and a half inch by four inch base. Now what I wanna do is I wanna push pull this up two and a half inches because the total height is two and a half inches. So clicking on the push pull, I'm gonna select the tool. I'm gonna click once on the face, move my mouse up. Now I'm not holding on the mouse and I'm simply gonna type in two and a half. In this case, I'm gonna do decimals, inches, and then enter. And I'm gonna zoom out and get it positioned how I want it. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna draw the line for this corner and we wanna draw the line for this corner. And we can tell that from here to here is one inch and from the opposite side, we have one inch also. And to do this, I wanna make little guide mark notches and I'm going to do that using the tape measure tool. So I'm gonna start from the front corner here. I'm gonna click once and I can either very slowly move my mouse to the right until it says one inch and I can click or I can simply release my hand off the mouse, type one inch and then enter and you'll see that it's made this little notch here on the edge of the shape. I can come to the opposite end point if I want or I can uh, make the mark from this corner, either one. And same thing, I wanna make another notch at one inch. This one's in the back so it's a little hard to see but um, I can see it back here. So you can do one or two things. You can either do the line tool which in this case you would click on the guide point that you created, click once, and very slowly bring your mouse um, to the other side. Now if your line 
is not a solid color, so in my case it was red. If it's black, that means that the line is not going straight across. So try to make sure that before you click on the edge that the line is still a solid color. So in this case it is. Now I can come to this guide point and I can do the same thing. The other way that you can do this is you can click on the uh, shapes tool or the rectangle tool and I can click once on this guide mark and I can click again on this guide mark. So looking back at my picture, I will see that this face right here, which is what I just drew right here, we want to push it down and if I look to the left, I want to push it down an inch and a quarter. So I'm going to go to SketchUp, click on push pull, I'm going to click on the face once move my mouse down, release my hand from the mouse, and type in one and a quarter. So in this case, I'll do 1.25 inches, and then enter. And you'll see that it has snapped down. One of the other requirements um, to get full credit for this is that you need to include all dimensions and in inches. And this is actually a pretty easy step. So you want to recreate each of the dimensions that you see here, including the inch and a half that we forgot to add. To do that, we're going to click on the dimension tool, which is to the right of the tape measurer tool. So I'm going to click on this once. And uh, the dimension tool, you want to do three clicks. So you want to click on one endpoint, click on the second endpoint, drag your mouse up, and click. Click, click, drag, click. Click, drag, click, 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 drag, click, 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 drag, click, 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 drag, click. Now, if at any time you don't see a dimension, what you can do is you can either zoom in or zoom out and kind of reposition it. It's kind of a glitch in the system. Um, let's say, for example, you do um, this dimension right here, the two and a half, and it doesn't quite look how it's supposed to. One way that you can always fix this, after you've put your dimensions in, you can always go to the base and you can always fix what you need to. So again, in this one's supposed to be two and a half. Let's say it said two and three eighths. I can click on the space and I can go ahead and push pull it until the dimension is correct. So once your three dimensional figure is um, accurate, oops, I did forget the one that we forgot last time. Oh, there we go. Um, once you have everything and it looks just like this, please turn on your call light and please have your teacher come over and give you credit for um, figure number one.